10 cool seahorse facts. What advantages does looking like this have? Today, we learn what makes the seahorse such a unique and successful animal. My name is Chris, and welcome to Animal Science TV. 10. A strange anatomy. Believe it or not, the seahorse isn't actually a horse. When first discovered, they were thought to be insects, and in Greek mythology, seahorses pulled the god Poseidon around in an underwater chariot. Today, scientists know the seahorse is one of the few fish that swims vertically. It is covered in spiky, bony plates. These plates form a protective exoskeleton, and the seahorse has evolved to lose its ribs, which had become no longer necessary to protect its organs. Seahorses vary in size based on species. At just one inch long, we have the pygmy seahorse, and the big-bellied seahorse is the largest at 14 inches long. 9. Male Pregnancy Seahorses are one of the only animals which have true male pregnancies. Females lay eggs in the male's brood pouch. The male then fertilizes and nurtures the eggs for the next month or so. The brood pouch provides nutrients, oxygen, waste removal, immune defense, and protection from the outside world. When gestation is complete, the male releases between 5 and 1,500 live-born juveniles called fry. The bigger the species, the more babies. Contractions can last around 12 hours. Once born, they drift away from dad in the currents. Only about 1% of fry survive until adulthood. 8. Life Partners Many seahorses form monogamous reproductive pairs that last a lifetime. Females have a large territory, about the size of a basketball court, and males have a much smaller territory, about the size of a telephone booth. The male's territory is inside the female's territory, and she comes over to see him when she wants to. They spend about two hours courting each other every day. This includes swimming around with linked tails, changing colors, and singing, which sounds more like lip smacking. <laughs> 7. Terrible Swimmers the pygmy seahorse is the slowest fish in the world. It can only swim about five feet per hour. Seahorses have a big dorsal fin on their back that propels them forward. It beats about 35 times per second, so fast that you can't really see it moving, like a hummingbird's wings. They also have fins on the sides of their heads, under the gills, that are used for steering. To move up and down, they have a swim bladder. The swim bladder can change the amount of air inside of it, allowing the animal to maintain neutral buoyancy at variable depths. 6. Big schnozzes Another unique feature of seahorses are their straw-like snouts. The mouth fits into small crevices and can stretch to fit bigger meals inside. It can draw a vacuum from over an inch away, which sucks live prey into the mouth, but seahorses have no teeth. Since the seahorse can't chew, it dissolves prey whole in the mouth and then passes it through the intestines. Seahorses don't even have a stomach. 5. A carnivorous diet. Seahorses are predators. They feed on things like fish larvae, brine shrimp, and plankton. Because seahorses cannot fully digest their food, they have to eat more than 50 times per day. Without a stomach, food passes through their system quite quickly, so they have to eat almost constantly. 4. Natural Predators Not much feeds on seahorses, because they are bony and spiky. They also are incredibly hard to see. Some animals that eat seahorses include penguins, sea turtles, crabs, sharks, and some larger fish who can crush their exoskeleton or eat them whole. 
A uh, big thanks to my Patreons for supporting the Animal Science TV project. You can help too, if you want to, for just $1 a month. Three, adaptive camouflage. Can you see the seahorse in this photo? They can change colors to mimic the environment they find themselves in. Here it is. The seahorse uses its prehensile tail to grab onto things like seaweed, corals, and grass. They sway back and forth in the currents with whatever they're attached to, and spend minimal time in the open waters where they could be spotted. Changing colors keeps them safe, but also helps them hunt as ambush predators. They hunt by sight and also have independently moving eyes. This lets them see potential prey or predators without having to move their bodies. Staying stationary while seeing in all directions makes them very hard to detect. Leave me a comment. Have you ever seen an animal with adaptive camouflage in the wild? I've been diving and snorkeling a lot of times and I've never seen a seahorse, but it, it might have been there, who knows. Two, habitat and population decline. Seahorses can be found worldwide in ocean waters or in the brackish estuaries where a river mixes with salt water. They are more common in warm waters but can be found in the colder waters of New Zealand and Eastern Canada. They live in extremely shallow waters and in environments with a really poor visible range. You can find seahorses in mangrove forests, seagrass beds, mud flats, and on shallow coral reefs. They thrive in these tidal waters because they can hold themselves in place as currents change. The seahorse's prehensile tail is vital to its success. Unfortunately, these shoreline habitats make the seahorse vulnerable to coastal development, toxic runoff, and being accidentally caught in fishing nets. The population of seahorses is largely unknown, but 12 of the 47 species around the world are listed as vulnerable, which is one step away from endangered. Populations are estimated to be only about 50% of what they were 20 years ago. Because the seahorse is such a bad swimmer, it's not able to migrate when conditions get bad. This makes the seahorse more vulnerable to habitat loss and climate change than most fish. And one, bad pets and traditional Chinese medicine. Seahorses are notoriously one of the hardest and most expensive fish to keep in an aquarium. They are extremely sensitive to water chemistry and not a beginner's fish. Less than 1% of pet seahorses survive more than six weeks. In nature, smaller species live one year and larger species can live over five years. Also, more than 150 million seahorses are harvested every year for uses in the traditional Chinese medicine industry. Traditional Chinese medicine thinks that seahorses can be used to cure infertility, baldness, asthma, and arthritis. There's no real science behind these claims, and I have a disdain for these myths. They lead to the poaching of 36 types of exotic animals, including tigers, rhinos, black bears, and of course, the seahorse. Next on Animal Science TV, we cover the gray parrot. These intelligent birds can mimic human speech, and some can even understand what they are saying. For more cool animal fact videos, check this playlist up here. I also do a 101 science education series where we cover things like the extinction of the dinosaurs. Thank you for watching Animal Science TV.